Serikali imetoa ilani ya kiangazi kitakacho sababisha ukame kati ya mwezi Agosti hadi Disemba kote nchini. Utafiti uliofanywa na shirika la kupambana na kiangazi NDMA umeonyesha kuwa maeneo mbalimbali nchini yatashuhudia kiwango cha chini cha mvua. Tayari kaunti kadhaa zinashuhudia ukame ikiwemo kaunti ya Garissa, Isiolo, Kilifi, Mandera, Samburu, Tana River, Wajia, Lamu, Marsabit na Turkana. Our areas are likely to face a very severe drought. The schools are opening next week. Uh, once the schools are open and the, there's no water, you can see the danger because they will have food, but there's no water to cook that food. Uh, whenever we have drought, whenever we have floods, we have quite a number of families that are exposed. And through this program, we've been able to create a safety net to cushion the very vulnerable of them uh, from uh, this harsh uh, reality. We had almost 10 billion in terms of cash transfer that my colleague C.S. Chelugui announced. Uh, that was uh, released just recently. Uh, but it, when it comes to hunger safety net uh, through my ministry, in July alone, we were able to release uh, Kenya shillings 559 million. That was uh, in July alone. We are now preparing in August to release another 559 million. So these are funds that will go directly to families that are affected, that are identified to be vulnerable. Now, mtazamaji unaifahamu mikoko. Basi Kenya imejiunga na mataifa mengine ulimwenguni kuadhimisha siku ya